A riverside retreat, Hamilton House is strikingly sited on 35 acres of fields and gardens overlooking the Salmon Falls River. Located an easy drive from Portsmouth, New Hampshire, this circa 1785 mansion and its landscape share a history that mirrors that of its southern Maine region. Hamilton House is managed by Historic New England and the guided tours begin here, a short stroll from the house. In the early 20th century, the owners of the Hamilton House, the Tysons, built a garden cottage at the location of the current visitor center. It was used as a place to entertain friends and enjoy the garden and river breezes. is located on the homeland of the Wabanaki. After more than a century of conflict, European colonists took ownership of the area known as South Berwick, Maine. The site was purchased by Jonathan Hamilton for his shipping business in the 18th century. A merchant trading heavily in the West Indies, Hamilton profited from the labor of enslaved people. Tax records from 1784 show that there was one person of cover living at the site, potentially a free person who was formerly enslaved. Shortly after Jonathan Hamilton's death in 1802, the West Indies trade in this region collapsed. Hamilton House passed out of family hands in 1815. In 1839, Alpheus and Betsy Goodwin bought the Hamilton House and surrounding land for use as a farm. With 11 children and one of the largest flocks of sheep in the area, the Goodwins were prosperous farmers for nearly 60 years. By 1898, Hamilton House had fallen into some disrepair and was known locally as the Ruins. Many of the adult Goodwin children had left the farm by this time the remaining family members had decided to put the site up for sale. Also in 1898, Maine author and South Berwick resident Sarah Orne Jewett went on a mission to find buyers for Hamilton House. She found buyers in Boston residents Emily Tyson and her stepdaughter Elise Tyson, who purchased the home for a country retreat. Tysons hired Herbert Brown of Boston architectural firm Little and Brown to create their country retreat. The Tysons design aesthetic for the site, notes Historic New England, was one of indoors flowing seamlessly into outdoors. The Tysons added L's covered in trellises to provide sleeping porches, restrooms, and a modern kitchen while maintaining the aesthetic of harmony. Tysons were avid gardeners, and with the help of Herbert Brown, they created a lush sunken garden overlooking the river. The garden was featured in a 1929 issue of House Beautiful. The elaborate perennial garden of Emily and Elise Tyson included a Carrera marble fountain they purchased in 1905, a sundial, and statuary, must-have elements of the fashionable garden of the day.
Hamilton House Landscape is interpreted to the year 1929, the year of the House Beautiful article that provided photographic research for the garden restoration. The wallpaper in the front hall is a reproduction of original pillar and arch wallpaper commissioned by the Tysons. George Porter Fernald depicts important colonial and federal era buildings of the Piscataqua River region. inspired mural in the Hamilton House dining room, George Porto Fornald was called back in 1907 to complete a mural in the drawing room in imitation of the French scenic wallpaper Le Monument de Paris. In place of Parisian landmarks, however, Fernald painted landmarks of the Piscataqua region, the Mills of Dover, New Hampshire, John Paul Jones's House of Portsmouth, and Sarah Orne Jewett's House of South Berwick, among others. historic New England, Fernald painted over existing wallpaper in the room, but this time left sections of the wallpaper unpainted, cleverly incorporating the leafy design of the paper into the mural as foliage in the trees.
Tyson died in 1922, stepdaughter Elise Tyson had by this time married Henry C. Vaughn, and the Vaughns kept and maintained the estate. When Elise Vaughn passed away in 1949, she left the house and its contents to historic New England. In addition, she left the state of Maine nearly 200 acres for use as a state park.